in this video i'm going to solve another a level physics question that is to aq exam solutions okay for this part uh, there is a game of a tennis ball is hit horizontally at a height of 1.2 meter so here is the ground uh, here is the ball that is that is from the ground the height of the ball is that is equal to 1.2 meter vertical height is 1.2 meter so this ball is uh, hit hit by the uh, tennis uh, tennis racket or something horizontally and this ball is uh, hit it by uh, horizontally at the height of 1.2 and travels a horizontal distance of 5.0 meter so so it will it will strikes the ground okay so before striking the ground so uh, we can see that the uh, horizontal that is equal to horizontal distance is given that is 5.0 meter this horizontal distance is given that is equal to 5.0 mean when the ball goes straight then it goes down goes down down and it hit the ground okay so the horizontal distance that is given that is equal to 5.0 meter mean this distance from here to here that is equal to 5.0 horizontal distance so basically basically there are two components at every point there are x component and the y component x component and the y component at every point there is there are two components that are the x component and the y component okay now uh, now i uh, draw the uh, for the diagram for the distance re redraw uh, redraw the diagram for example here is the point that is uh, that is the where, when the ball is hit uh, by the player so the horizontal distance is for example when the ball goes down uh, just like that 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 okay so I mean this distance that is that is the horizontal distance I draw with the different colors for example I use different colors so this distance is horizontal horizontal distance so this distance is exactly uh, exactly if i draw this this distance is exactly from here to here if you note that this these lines are exactly from here to here that is equal to 5.0 okay this problem is might be very simple if we have the angle if we if we, if the angle theta is given so we just uh, use equation for the horizontal velocity that is equal to u x is equal to u cosine theta but to as the angle is not given so this equation is not can be used so so we use different method okay in this question so first of all i write the uh, write the detail the height is height is 1.2 meter okay the distance horizontal distance is horizontal distance is x is equal to 5.0 meter y distance is 1.2 meter okay and uh, we have to find the velocity u to x so simple we use ux is equal to horizontal distance divided by time we simple use equation for the velocity ux or x over t so x is ha we have the value of x but we know we don't know the value of time so first of all we solve for the time so we use second equation that is s or y is equal to y is equal to U T plus half A T square. Okay, okay. Now, now we solve this. As you know that initial, because this this is vertical velocity component because there is a y component velocity. So this distance s is y. So uh, velocity is also y. We use y component. Okay. So acceleration is g. So y is equal to the y is equal to one point two meter. One point two meter u y is the initial velocity that is 0 0 into t plus half well if a is 9.81 and we have to find the t t square so in order to solve this 1.2 into 2 divided by 9.81 is equal to t square we rearrange this second equation because this term vanishes so we just multiply this term to the 1.2 and divide 9.81 so t square equal to t square is equal to under root of 1.2 into 2 divided by 9.81 so we take the square root both sides so that this square root can be cancelled so t is equal to we solve this square root and we get the answer that is equal to 
four nine seconds. Okay, so we uh, just find the time. Okay, now we use for equation one, u x is equal to x over t. So this horizontal distance is five point zero meter, and the time is zero point four nine second. So we just uh, divide these and we get the final answer. Okay, that is equal to five point zero over four point nine. So our final answer is ten point two. Ten point two meter per second. Okay, thank you.